Welcome back to Forza Motorsports. In today's episode, we are going to be looking at a serial rammer and his psyche. What drives him to ram at any little inconvenience? What is wrong with this man? Stay tuned for this episode of Criminal Rammers. Worked a little bit too much there and I got a little loose, but... Alright. Fair enough. Well, it looks like it's getting pretty clean racing so far. We'll see how it goes on the straights here. And at the first chicane is where it always just normally pops off. Overall went pretty well for most people. As you can see, the ego of a rammer is very fragile. A small tap is all it takes to set him off as it goes for his first ram and misses. This will not deter him. He feels his children don't need or respect him and that he's unwanted and obsolete in their lives. Oh, me way between all that. Yo! He has a partner. Okay. Not sure if that was the guy I barely bumped at the beginning. Uh, I mean, at that uh, last corner. But if it was, kind of a salty move. Second. Well. Let off there, give him a gap. We'll, we'll reel him back in, I'm sure. That's getting annoying. Here he goes. He made a mistake. And we're able to get past him. Perfect. That's what happens to a lot of people. They get too distracted by the... Uh, Dre races on the straight that they forget that uh, they're breaking points. I mean, it's happened to me multiple times too, so... Hopefully we start catching the leaders here. Not the smoothest through that first corner. Almost lost it a little bit. Made up some good time. 
The other guy just pushing out way too far there. And we got in the grass a little bit. We decided to just stay in second to make sure we didn't spin. Sloppy with that guy trying to race us pretty hard, but we able to get the move done and get a decent gap on him for this long straight. Oh, uh, someone got real loose there. Get past the Jaguar there pretty easily. The Jag. Question is, do we go one more lap and uh, it's more use of these tires? I think we do. Looks like that's how everyone else is going to. A lot better through that corner this time. It, but say justified on that one. Make sure we watch our uh, tire wear a little bit. We don't want to push it too hard here. up before we win out of that turn like midway to the turn okay we kind of have to stay single file here to go to the pits except for it looks like that guy's gonna be going one more lap or try to do a no stop gutsy i really don't like doing no stops like we're gonna be coming out pretty much on top of each other that's kind of crazy yeah like almost indistinguished from each other here but we're way quicker so we're able to get that position here, and we'll see where we land after these uh, next laps with the pit stops.
going up into 11. there with the lift off oversteer a little bit. Well, that guy stayed out. Kind of surprised by that. As a husband, he feels emasculated and humiliated by his wife. Now, these beliefs and perceptions, real or imagined, have destroyed this individual's masculine self-image. This on sub is delusional. He's now dressing in this road warrior persona gives him feelings of power and purpose that he craves. It is now the single most important thing in his life, and he will die before giving it up. Why? Like, what the hell? What the f*** was that for? Bulletin. Be on the lookout for a worthless loser named Norman who resents anyone with a life and kills just to prove he's not an emasculated loser. That was crazy. I have no clue what the hell's going on with that, but we're all the way up into fifth now after that. That was a really terrible run through there. That was our best clean lap of 151. I know we're not going to catch them, but I just want to see how close we can get to them. How much time we can gain on them, I guess. Well, we actually might catch this guy in fourth. He hasn't done a pit stop. Much better lap. Not a great one, but it's not terrible either. seconds in front of the guy behind us now.
I mean, maybe if this guy makes a big mistake, we can get fourth, but... Very unlikely. We might not even keep fifth here if we keep messing up. Nope. That might be our fifth place out the door. Nope, nope, we got come on, make the gap, make the gap. No, we're gonna oh no, he got penalties, so we didn't end up getting it. Whew. That was close. We almost lost our fifth place position there. But yeah, uh, definitely a crazy, crazy race. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. And have a great day.